everybody, how's it going? It's Poncho here from Ponchezy Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Collector's Edition collection. So as you can see, I have a bunch of Collector's Editions all over the place right here. I didn't think I had this many. I had them all up there on my shelf. I decided enough was enough. I needed to make some room for some new collector's editions. And I decided to reorganize it today. And I was going to take that opportunity to talk about a few of these games. And once I got all of them piled up, I just realized the just massive girth of my collection. So I'm not going to talk in depth about all of these because there actually are a few of these I haven't played yet. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about a little bit of some of these games in this collection. And I'm going to try and keep it short. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff here and I don't want this episode to go on too long. So, first of all, we got Payday 2. I did not like this game. Uh, all my friends didn't buy it. So playing by yourself in Payday 2 online is just the worst. Next up we got Skyrim right here. Uh, this is just the case for it. I have the whole big thing with the dragon and the book and all that stuff, but I actually got that when I was still living with my mom and I've moved out and I accidentally left the box and the dragon at my mom's place, so that sucks. Next up we got Terraria, Terraria, yeah that's it, Terraria. <laughs> this collector edition was relatively cheap, um, I got it because I know I wanted a physical copy of Terraria, I actually really like this game. I don't like Minecraft, but I like Terraria which is kind of weird. It came with a 2 gigabyte uh, flash drive as well as some, you know, some in-game content and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Now, this isn't really a collector's edition, but I don't see a lot of people who have this box. So this is the Hey You Pikachu for N64 that came with a microphone and all that stuff. Uh, Pikachu didn't freaking listen to you at all. The game was kind of bland, but I found the box and everything at this local game store and I really just had to have it. And it was like, it was cheap. It was like 30 bucks, so I picked it up. Right here we have the Collector Edition for Infamous Second Son for PS4. This game ruled. The Collector Edition here came with like a beanie and some pins and stuff as well as some in-game content I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just a vest. I don't, I don't know. The game ruled. The Collector Edition, kind of lackluster. Here we have Tales of Zillia Limited Edition. There was a huger, like huger, is that even a word? A bigger Collector's Edition with a whole bunch of more stuff. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that. This one did come with a CD as well as some DLC vouchers and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Great game. I wish I could have gotten the bigger Collector Edition. Next up, we have The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings Limited Edition. As far as I know, this Collector's Edition only comes with the Quest Handbook. I'm pretty sure there was like a huge big Collector Edition that came out. But when that was up for pre-order, I wasn't really into this series. But now I'm really into it and I can't wait for the third one. Next up, it's Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Yo, I might just have to do an entire episode about this game because this game was literally my life for like three years. This collector edition comes with making of DVD. It comes with a uh, an Imperial Septum coin, which was pretty cool. And also it comes with a uh, pocket guide to the... Pocket guide to the Empire. It's really awesome. Um... Let's see if the pocket guide's actually in here. Yeah, it's right here. And this thing is great. It comes with like a bunch of like really cool stuff, really good artwork, a bunch of lore is in here and everything. And it just, it feels like an item that you would find in game. And I think that's what they were trying to obviously go for. Jesus, I'm dropping everything. Next up we have Muramasa Rebirth for the PSP. This collector edition comes with PlayStation Vita face cover, PlayStation Vita skin, PlayStation Vita velvet pouch, uh, lithographs and the soundtrack. Pretty cool. I haven't opened it up because I kind of want to, you know, retain its value if it ever becomes valuable. Uh, cool thing is that it's actually, or it was free on the PlayStation Network store depending on when you watch this. So I don't have to open it up. So there's cool. Unless I want to take advantage of that sweet lithograph or face cover, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Keeping in line with PSP, I have Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God, Hot Spicy Everything Nicey Limited Edition. If you watch my PS Vita video, you'll notice that the only reason I bought the regular version of this game is because the Collector Edition was so crazy, and I found the Collector Edition on Amazon for like 10 more dollars than what I paid for the regular version. So I said, why not? And I'm gonna return the regular edition because I certainly don't need two of this game. Next up we have the Halo 4 Limited Edition. I, I'm sorry. They really should have done more with this. This sucked. And I think this was like... 
it's like $80 or maybe it was $90 from what I imagine. I mean, the packaging's nice, yeah, but yeah, it was the, re the Return of the Chief, man. You know, you had to do something more. It came with uh, some stuff. It came with like some notepad or whatever, you know, with, with notes, obviously being a notepad. It came with some stuff to like kind of immerse you in the universe of the game. Like, I'm not into Halo as much as I used to be. Now, if I was, if I were to get this when I was like maybe 14, yeah, I'd go apeshit over this stuff in here, but not right now. Over here, we got the Soul Calibur 5 Collector Edition. The cool thing about this one is, let's open it up, shaped like a book. Pretty cool. You're in the literature, you're in the reading. You're going to like this one. Also, it comes with the soundtrack in here, as you can see, with a cool little art book and stuff. Inside's really nice, kind of velvety. It's a nice presentation for a collector edition. Next up, we have not really a collector edition, but the box for a Game Boy Pocket. Really awesome. I was at some guy's house picking up this Game Boy <laughs> that I'm going to talk about in just a second. And um, he had the box for a Game Boy Pocket, and he just threw it in for free, which is really, really awesome. Really cool to have this. And next up, we have the Game Boy. Not really a collector edition either, but I think it's really, really cool. It's up. It was up here on my shelf. Um, this is the original box for the Game Boy. Original packaging has all the leaflets in it, all the pamphlets. The only thing I don't like about this is when I was moving last year, something fell on it, and now there's like kind of like a tear in here, and it it pains me to look at it. So. I'm just gonna get this out of my face right now. Next up, we have the Mass Effect Trilogy. Again, not really a collector edition, but the cool thing about this is I went to Momocon last year, 2013, depending on when you're watching this, and uh, Mark Mir was there. He's the voice of Male Shepard, and he actually signed it, which was really cool. And it says, I should go, Mark Mir. Pretty funny, awesome guy, very humble. I was glad to sign it, very awesome. Next up, we have Beat Mania for the Wonder Swan. Now, the Wonder Swan is a pretty obscure handheld. I don't think it came to the States, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a Beat Mania game for it, and it even comes with like a little, you know, DJ turntable thing that you place over some of the face buttons. And it's pretty cool. I was really, really lucky to get this. I've never seen it, and I love all the Beat Mania games, and I just, I had, I, I had to get it, I'm sorry. Carrying on with the theme of music games, here we have DJ Max, Black Square, some characters in Korean or Japanese, I don't know. Uh, it's a really, really awesome, awesome game. The Collector Edition comes with, you know, some lithographs and the entire soundtrack, which is really awesome. There are some great songs on here, an incredible game, very cool to have. Next up, we have more DJ Max. This is DJ Max Technica Tune. This is the Collector Edition for the PS Vita game. Now, unlike other DJ Max games, this is more touch-based. It had a really huge arcade you know, counterpart, and they ported it over to the Vita, it's pretty cool. This comes with a whole bunch of stuff, comes with the game, like a Vita case, what else is in here? God, every time I open this thing up, everything falls out. It comes with like a strap and uh, a little charm for your PS Vita, and under this is the soundtrack, mixed with uh, some lithographs and stuff like that. Really cool if you're into that kind of stuff. I'm not really into the lithograph scene, but I am in a DJ Max and I had to get this. Next up, we have Killer is Dead. What does this come with? Probably comes with an art book. I haven't opened this up in a long time. Yep, comes with an art book. And something else. Maybe a DVD? What's in here? I don't know. Some DLC. <laughs> I don't know. I still haven't played it. I'm really sorry. Next up, we have Deus Ex, the Augmented Edition. Really cool game. I really want the director's cut where they like revamped all the uh, boss fights and stuff like that. I hear that's a really good, really fun experience. This collector edition comes with a DVD as well as an art book and stuff like that. And the DVD contains uh, making of the soundtrack, the E3 trailer, and uh, a, gr uh, a motion graphic novel adapted by the official series of DC Comics. Woo, ladies, do you hear that? I don't know why I got so excited. Next up, we got Tomb Raider collector edition. The cool thing about this collector edition is it came with a figure of Laura Croft, and the figure is by a well-known figure company called Play Arts Kai, and their figures usually go for 60 or $70 just by themselves, and for $100, you got the game and the figure, and I thought that was pretty cool. You also got some badges, a lithograph, maps, and the soundtrack, and DLC. So, this is a good value for at $100. Right here, we have probably my only Nintendo 3DS collector edition. This is the Adventure Time. Hey Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? Collector edition. Cool thing about this is the case looks like the Enchiridion and inside it is a little sword stylus thing. Pretty cool. 
Next up, we have the South Park Stick of Truth Grand Wizard Edition. The figure's not in here, it's actually way back there. Um, but this one came with Fellowship Pack as well as the figure and a nice cloth map, which is pretty cool. Was it cloth? Don't hold me to it. It might not have been cloth. So, whoops. Once again, not another collector edition, but cool nonetheless. This is the Pokemon Stadium original box. Uh, I got this at a yard sale for like five bucks. And it came with the game too, and everything, and their own pack. It was really awesome. I think it still has the plastics in here too, from like all this stuff. Yep, as well as all the leaflets and stuff. Really fun to have this. I actually got this a couple of years ago before I even got into retro stuff or collecting video games, period. I thought that was really cool. Once again, not a collector edition, but a box for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I love this system so much. I think it's so cool. I think it has such a great library. And I was able to find this at a local video game store, and he wasn't really asking too much for it. I think he was asking for, I think, 30 or $40, and that's usually what I see for the system alone, just loose by itself. And the fact that he had the box, it was just even more incentive to like just jump on it and grab it. Right here we have the Bioshock Infinite Ultimate Songbird Edition. This thing came with like a big badass sand Sandbird. Bad Andy Sandberg. A big badass Songbird statue. It was really awesome. I actually have it right there. Um, it also came with Murder of Crows Keychain, Digital Soundtrack, DLC, you know, Handyman Figure, Lithographs, Art Books, and all sorts of stuff. The box is awesome, full of really gorgeous art. And um, it even had, the box inside of it even has some alternate art if you don't like the art on here. Um, it's just all around a really cool collector edition. It was a little pricey. Wish they'd, you know, tone it down with the price on some of these collector editions, but it was still good nonetheless. Next up is not a collector edition in itself, but this is an item that would have come with a collector edition. This is the handbook that would have come with the Nino Kuni uh, limited edition. Uh, if you want to look up all the controversy surrounding that, uh, basically I'll give you the abridged version. There were, there was like a Kickstarter kind of Indiegogo thing happening, uh, trying to get a collector edition going for the US release of this game. And um, it met its funding goal, but when the game came out, a lot of people weren't getting their stuff. There was this huge issue with people who reserved it and stuff, and like apparently some dude in Canada was hoarding like a 200 copies and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on. But I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it, but when I was at San Diego Comic-Con in 2013, I went ahead and stopped by the Namco booth, and they were just selling these. For $10, they were selling these. Now, unfortunately, mine is a Japanese copy, but... <laughs> Five minutes before I came to the booth, they sold out of the US edition. And to add insult to injury, this was on Sunday. This is the last day, so I could have just gone up earlier and gotten an English version of this book. But still, nonetheless, it's a really awesome book. It has all really good artwork. You can actually access this book in the game, and you consult this book in the game all the time, and this is just a physical representation of that manual you access in the game all the time. This is just really awesome to have. All right, so we're getting some stuff out of the way now. Next up, we have the Kill Zone 3 limited edition. This guy's mask comes off here. It comes off here, and uh, what do you got in here? You got space for the game, you got an art book, pretty cool. It also came with a little figure um, that was like half going ghost and stuff like that, you know, getting its Danny Phantom on and stuff like that, but I don't have it right now. It's with all my other figures. Over here we have the Collector Ultimate Pin Edition, whatever you want to call it, for <laughs> Killer Instinct, the new one that came out for Xbox One, and um, I don't really care about getting any of the pins in here. I actually pre-ordered this thing forever ago and then my order got lost and then through a grueling week getting in touch with people at Microsoft um, I was able to get one completely for free because they felt really bad that they lost my order and everything was sold out stuff like that so they actually got in contact with one of their Microsoft stores that had one of these and they sent it back to they sent it to me completely for free they refunded me they refunded my money like uh, a week earlier and they just felt so bad that um, I had it pre-ordered for months and they just didn't sent it to me so I got this completely for free really awesome it came with the ultimate edition for Killer Instinct it included all the season one characters I'm not sure if it, if it includes season two but hey I'm not complaining pretty fun pretty awesome right here we have Cabela's African Adventure edition with the gun now you may not know from looking at me but I love Cabela games I think they're so fun even like not even the ones with the guns like I love them all like they're all so great I think they're so fun if you like 
you know, games in general, just try a Cabela game. Please try a Cabela game. I think they're so fun. They're such, such fun games. Man, this game rocks. Next up, we have Lord of the Rings War in the North Collector Edition. It's really, really cool. It came with like this, this big like quiver pouch with a real cloth map and an art book and all that crap. Standard Collector Edition fare along with, you know, the quiver and, you know, all that cool stuff. It's pretty cool. Right here we have the Collector Edition for Assassin's Creed 2. Comes with all the basic crap you get in the Collector Edition, plus it has a really cool statue. Over here we have the Collector Edition for Assassin's Creed 4? Yes, 4. Haven't played it yet. Comes with a whole bunch of DLC, you know, in-game content, as well as a really cool statue that I have not even assembled yet. Kind of lacking, I'm sorry. And again, more Assassin's Creed. Here's Assassin's Creed 3. Comes with, you guessed it, DLC, whole bunch of in-game content crap, and a, <laughs> and a statue that I did put together. It's pretty awesome. Next up, we have two Superboys. They're not collector editions, but I have them. Is there something in here? It's heavy like there's something in here. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But um, I got one, the D-pad was kind of messed up. Uh, went ahead and ordered another one, uh, and they just gave me my money back. They didn't, have, they didn't even ask for it back. So I just ended up keeping it. And then I ended up going online and finding a fix for the D-pad. So now I have two. Right here we have the Saints Row 4 Collector Edition. This is the Commander-in-Chief Edition. It comes with a dubstep gun, as well as uh, a nuke button, I guess, and a Johnny Gat statue. Really awesome Collector Edition. Right here we have the Grand Theft Auto 5 Collector Edition. This came with a whole bunch of bullshit that I can't even remember right now. I know it came with a hat and some other stuff because this thing is really heavy. It's, it's really, really heavy. There's more than a hat in here. So I'm not really sure what's in here, but it's heavy. And, uh, yeah, some dust on it. Okay, moving on. Right here we have the Zone of Enders HD Collection. This comes with a badass art book, pretty sure. You know what, we're not gonna try. We're not gonna test it. You know what, yeah, we are. You know what, no, we're not. Yep, comes with an art book, really hard to open, so I'm probably never gonna try and open it again. Right here we have The Last of Us, which one? Survival Edition. This comes with a bunch of DLC, as well as a really cool book by Dark Horse. And it's a great game, pretty cool collector edition. And over here, we have another collector edition for The Last of Us. This is the post-pandemic collector edition. Why do I have two? That's a great question. So, apparently some idiot over at Sony decided, hey, I got a great idea. Let's make a really cool edition with a statue that's obviously the top tier of special editions, but not include any of the lower tier awards in this one. So, I had to buy this one because I wanted the statue, and I had to buy this guy over here because I wanted the freaking art book. So, hey, guess what? You got my money, Sony. Do I regret it? Yes, because the book went on sale a year later for $40. No, less than that, like 20. God. Next up, we have this really cool Dragon Ball Z, you know, standalone TV motion game. It's not really a collector edition, but this should be, this is something, I, I don't even know. I, I'm probably gonna do a video all about this little thing. Like you strap stuff to your hand and you do Kamehameha's at the TV. It's really awesome. I actually still haven't gotten a chance to play this. I got this like over two years ago and I'm just waiting, I guess. I might, I might do it today. I'm gonna play you. Next up, we have a make, oh God, you can't even see. We have a Mega Man 25th anniversary statue. This thing is awesome. This thing is boss as shit. I wasn't planning on getting this, but it was the last day at Comic-Con and they were selling him at a discounted price and they were saying that they're never gonna have it again. And I was like, you know what? I'm a sucker and I bought it. And I don't regret it because I really, really love Mega Man. Man, I love Mega Man. I'm really happy to get this. This thing looks awesome too. The base lights up, his little buster lights up, the tr like the barrel of it lights up and like his energy meter on his arm lights up. Everything lights up. Things lighten up my life. Jesus Christ, I don't know what I'm saying. Next up, we have the Hot Tunes limited edition for DJ Max. I don't know which one this is. DJ Max Hot Tunes. Jesus, of course. Um, comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it even comes uh, broken. It fell out of my trunk of my car and it broke and I've never been so upset in my entire life. But um, it didn't really get damaged that badly, just some hinges came, you know, undone. And it's really, the presentation in this, good lord, look, this thing's like gold plated, like all the, 
all the discs are in here like that. Good lord. And even it's got like a nice little tab to pull it open. You got, whoa, oh, you got all the uh, art books and stuff back here. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Pentavision, they know how to make a collector edition because this thing is this thing is like off the rails. I couldn't believe how awesome this thing was. How the hell do I close this thing? Okay, right here we have Borderlands 2, the Deluxe Vault Hunter Collector Edition. This came with like DLC, some badges, a map, and a bobblehead of this really ugly ass character. I don't play this game. Uh, I just got this really, really cheap, so why not? Next up, we have the Injustice Gods Among Us Collector Edition. This came with a Seasons Pass, a really cool statue, and a digital version of the comic, which I thought was going to be a physical copy of the comic. Pretty upset. Anyway, uh, the weird thing about this is the UK version has a much better looking statue. I don't know why we got stuck with the weird one. Right here, we have the City of Villains Collector Edition. This is my favorite MMO of all time. If you were lucky enough to play this for City of Heroes, then you know what's up. This, I will never love another MMO as much as I love this game. And I bought the Collector Edition for this well after the servers got shut down, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to play it, but just the fact, and just, just knowing I have the Collector Edition for it is, you know, you know, kind of keeping the spirit of the game alive, you know, in my heart and stuff like that. Man, this is in my heart. This is my heart. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, really lucky to have this. Even though the game's not up anymore, it's still still really great to have. All right. Keeping the theme going with PC games. Here we have the Elder Scrolls Online Collector Edition. This came with a really, really good art book. Like, it wasn't even an art book. It was like a lore book, just like an, uh, just like an Oblivion. And it came with a really awesome log ball statue. And um, this was really good, and it was like all that all that extra stuff was only like forty bucks. So for a hundred dollars, you got this. You got some. You got a whole bunch of DLC stuff, a whole bunch of fast tracking stuff. Uh, you got a really fast horse. You got some uh, marriage rings, and you got to play as the Imperial and stuff like that. I don't play the game anymore, but it was still really fun to have. Uh, I accidentally bought two. Still have the other one. I'm trying to sell it. So if you're looking for one, yo, hit me up. Uh, here is a Sega Saturn. I actually got this really, really cheap $30 from some local guy on Craigslist. And it's really awesome to have the box. The game's actually in here. Um, I really need to take the system out because it is really heavy and I don't want it on my shelf. <laughs> but really cool, really nice to have the box for it. Very excited. Next up, we have Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This came with a really awesome, like, static thingy, plasma lamp, whatever really really cool and it also came with you know the soundtrack and you know other standard fare collector edition stuff next up we have the collector edition for saints row the third this was actually pretty cool this comes with uh headphones and the headphones actually have a microphone in them and they actually even on top of that have like a voice changing module in the in the headphones to go with uh the uh professor genki theme that was happening with this collector edition it's really fun. I don't use the headphones that much. I think I only use them once, so I don't really use them at all. But uh, it was really cool to mess around with the features and stuff. If you can find this, try and pick it up. It's pretty cool. Next up, we have the God of War Ascensions Collector Edition. This came with a pretty badass statue, steel case, and an invitation to the Last of Us demo, which kind of sucked because I think that demo, the demo that came with this version, came out the same day that the demo that everybody got. So. It's kind of stupid. Right here we have Dizzy Infinity. I was all about this game when it first came out, and now I don't play it anymore. So, let's put you back there. Right here we have the Watch Dogs Collector Edition. Now, this, oh man. Um, I pre-ordered this for the Xbox One, but somehow I got the Xbox 360 version. Pretty upset. Good thing it didn't come with any DLC, otherwise I would have been royally screwed. But that sucks because it didn't come with any DLC. It came with a figure. And I think that's it. Oh, it also came with like a little mask, an Aiden mask. I'm too fat to wear it. So it just looked like a dumb thing on the bottom of my face. <sighs> I don't know. Whatever. The game is okay. Right here we have the collector edition for Dead Island Riptide. This is the US version. If you ever keep up with video game news, you'll know there's a huge controversy for the European version of this game that had like this 
um, severed torso of a woman in a, like a bikini and stuff like that. And it was all over the gaming news, talking about over-sexualization of females and all that stuff. And we didn't get any of that crap. We just got um, a bottle opener, keychain, and um, Hula Girl. It's pretty cool. I don't know why this translates to Hula Girl. Right here, we have the collector editions for Aliens. That's all I want to say because I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about this game. I don't want to talk about the fact that I bought this game. I just never want to think about this game ever again in my entire life. Right here, we have the Pladia. And this is a really, really interesting, interesting bit of hardware. I might do an entire episode dedicated to this even though I only have one game. Um, this is a game that's really reminiscent to like Dragon's Lair or Space Ace and stuff like that. Games where you have to watch a movie and then something happens in the movie and you press a button to correspond. It's basically just quick time events the entire time. And this was actually licensed by Bandai, so all the games that came out for it were Bandai games. And that mean that meant a lot of like anime and stuff like that. And Dragon Ball Z actually came out with this. There were two Dragon Ball Z games that came out for this game. And that's literally the only reason I bought this. And another cool thing about this is it had wireless controllers. Way back in, where's the copyright? 1994. All right, right here we have the Epic Edition for Gears of War 3. Um, came with a really awesome statue of Marcus Phoenix. I only paid $15 for that bad boy. Waited until it went used on GameStop. Waited until it went used on GameStop. God. Words. Anyway, <laughs> waited until it went used on GameStop and picked it up for really, really cheap. Very, very pleased that I didn't end up paying, what, $150 for this? Crap, I don't know. Yeah. Right here we have the box for my NVIDIA Shield. Why did I spin it like that? Okay, right here we have the box for my NVIDIA Shield. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome uh, handheld. I don't really play it as much as, as, much as I used to, but um, I really like it. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, and right here, <laughs> Jesus, hold a muscle. Right here we have the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter. This comes with a whole bunch of crap. It comes with, Jesus. Okay, just, just look. It comes with all this stuff in here. I'm not gonna list this stuff off. Seriously. All right, and next up we have the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Super Baby. I really need this right now. Please get it for me for Christmas edition. Um, the cool thing about this is it comes with a quadcopter. That's literally the only reason I bought it. And I got it during a Black Friday sale and it was really, really cheap. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it. And that's when the game was like still hot. So I was like $60 for a quadcopter and I get this baby game, Call of Duty. <laughs> and um, I ended up playing it. It's not as fun as, it's not as much fun as I used to have a Call of Duty 4 and stuff like that. Kind of fell off the Call of Duty series, but I did have fun with it. So I got my money's worth, I guess. Next up is this bad boy right here. This is the Splinter Cell. God, this is backwards. Oh God. Next up is the Splinter Cell Blacklist Collector Edition. This thing is awesome. I didn't get a chance to play the game. It came out during a time where everything was coming out. This piece of shit, wherever it is. Saints Row 4 was coming out. I don't, I don't even know where it is. I'm not even bothered. Anyway, Saints Row 4 came out at the same time, and I didn't get a chance to play Blacklist, but this Paladin Edition comes with a freaking hobby-grade remote control airplane, and I really like remote control airplanes. I think they're so cool. And that was more than enough incentive for me to pick this one up. All right, and finally, <sighs> Last up, we have the Defiance Collector Edition. Haven't heard of Defiance? Don't blame you. It kind of bombed. It was a really cool MMO. It also has a sci-fi show that worked in tandem with the game, and I really liked it. This Collector Edition came with a whole bunch of goodies for, you know, you and the MMO, and also it came with a Collector Edition statue kind of thing for one of the really early enemies, um, a Scuttlebug, I think, or a Scuttle Crab. I can't even remember. But the cool thing about this is it came in a huge box that came with like a bag. My bag is right here. And then in the middle of it is just the other collector edition that didn't come with the bag. And I thought, wow, that was weird. <laughs> all right, and that's it. This was my incredibly long video about all my collector editions that I have as of July, 2014. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stuck around this long, I have mad respect for you, each and every single one of you. If you like what you saw, please let me know in the comments below, as well as letting me know about any constructive criticism you have or anything like that. And I'll catch you guys in the comments below, as well as the next video. Have a good one.